Ever wonder where billionaires keep their money? I mean, that's like nine zeros of dollars. Instead of a wallet, do they pull around a little carry-on suitcase in case they need to nip to the Ritz for tea and a massage? Do they trip over loose, uncut diamonds as they head from their bedroom to their gold-plated vanity? Do they have a robot butler who follows them around, ready to dispense the right number of thousand dollar bills for their new Hermes gym socks? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. While being super rich is obviously fun and affords a lot of options, billionaires aren't really that dumb or lavish with their fortune. I mean, how do you think they stay rich. Turns out billionaires are really quite frugal with their money. Let me give you a glimpse into where billionaires actually keep their money. 1. Liquid cash, at least $5 million. As a billionaire, most of your wealth is safely invested or entrusted somewhere safe, but you still need walking around money. Surprisingly, this is the smallest part of their wealth. Until they get the bugs out of the robot butler, billionaires still have to carry around spending money or have it available for a splurge purchase. As a billionaire, you may want to pop into Starbucks and so grab a frappuccino and a franchise. I certainly would. I mean, if it's in my neighbourhood, why not just buy it? Pumpkin spice lattes all year round? No problem. 2am decaf cold brew coming right up. No secret menu items for me because, well, I can have anything I want. Okay, enough of my Starbucks fantasy. Billionaires will always need a bit of cash or debit wherever they go. I mean, how else do they buy Girl Guide cookies? I mean, you can't just drop the black card and say, ring it up. Number two, vehicles, at least $20 million plus for private jet. Whether it's a Bugatti or a Rolls Royce is more your speed, billionaires do fancy some luxurious cars. Bugatti's La Voiture Noire is the most expensive car ever made at $19 million. We hear stories of billionaires driving Hondas and pickups, and that may be so, but they are far more likely to be chauffeured in a more luxurious car with the latest security gadgets. When you are a billionaire, time is precious, so the time spent traveling should be comfortable and as short as possible. For billionaires, the office and playground spaces are huge and sometimes, well, it is the entire friggin' world, hence the need for a jet or two. For example, Bill Gates earns around $23,000 a minute, so a two-hour layover may as well cost $1.38 million, which makes a $20 million private jet seem like a bargain. Fast cars and fast jets are requisite spending for billionaires, until teleportation becomes available, that is, and they'll just buy that. 3. Sports teams – $25 million for an expansion baseball team I don't mean to be, well, mean, but is it me or does it seem that rich people are really competitive? Maybe that's why they're super rich and I'm not. They compete in race cars, yachts, horses, polo matches, poker and even major league sports teams. If you are a fan and can afford it, why not show your support by buying the team? You're guaranteed good seats, autographs and a 100% discount at the merch store. Is it me or is sports titles becoming more a case of which team can afford the most talented players? So maybe the real competition is in the size of bank accounts. Number 4. Real Estate – $100 million plus As investments go, this one is pretty solid. As solid as the ground under your feet, so to speak. While a lot of rich people's money is digital and on paper, owning real estate is a tangible or a real asset. For the most part, real estate gets more valuable over time. Our planet isn't getting any bigger, and one would argue it's getting smaller. As population and industry grows, the demand for land and space increases, so yeah, if you own real estate, you're likely going to get richer. It's one of the smartest and most solid investments there is, and real estate tends to be passed down from generation to generation. Lucky kids, and why yes, I'm available for adoption. 5. Businesses – 100 million plus You'd think having a billion or so dollars would be plenty, and you'd be wrong. Even uber-wealthy people who inherited still want to be associated with business. Whether they simply got handed the family business along with a happy 18th birthday card, they still want to be relevant in industry. Billionaires respect their good fortune, and while preservation of the big pie is great, but growing it is even bigger. Billionaires have a large part of their wealth locked into their family business or one they've invested in. You'll never see the caption, Joe Billionaire, source of wealth, he just wished for it. Number 6. Primary Residence – $100 million plus 
A man or woman's home is their castle, and it's even more true for billionaires. Our home is our oasis, a place to nest, hide, share, and enjoy. As a billionaire, you'll need to buy a home with lots of space because you'll need the room for all your toys like cars, helicopters, and planes. You also need space to buffer you from the curious public. When you have gads of money, what do you prize the most? your privacy and your safety. The billionaire homes have extreme security measures, including bulletproof glass in some cases. There are also fun features like helipads, multiple swimming pools. Bill Gates has an underwater sound system in his. One home has their own power generator, a way of living off the grid, I suppose. Number seven, legacy, 100 billion plus for hospital wing. What's the one thing that a billion dollars or even a gazillion dollars can't buy? immortality. Yep, you can't take it with you as the old saying goes. These super rich folks have a lot of time to think about what happens when they're gone. Everyone wants to be remembered fondly and spoken of with admiration. While money can't buy you immortality, it can buy you a legacy. The idea that your name or something you care about will be remembered for a long time to come. For this reason, many billionaires have buildings, wings of hospitals, scholarships, parks named after them. A good example of legacy would be Madison Square Gardens, the most famous sports arena in the world. We refer to it all the time, and I'm sure James Madison Jr., who died 184 years ago, is smiling knowing that his name is still on everyone's lips. Having a billion dollars can be a way of buying your way into the history books, or at least have it engraved on the cornerstone of some old building. Just be careful about your building name. For example, if your name is Peter Ennis, call it the Pete Ennis Discovery Building, or Peter Ennis Building for Discovery, but just don't abbreviate your first name, okay? Number 8. Lifestyle – $100 million plus As a billionaire, you have a certain image to uphold. You don't have your children's birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese. Your teenage kids can't simply attend a local high school. You don't vacation at a buddy's cottage. Boarding school, tuition, meals catered by Michelin chefs and jetting off to a private island are phrases that seldom enter my conversation and if they did, my friends would be laughing so hard I'd have to help them up off the floor. Billionaire language is a bit foreign to us commoners and may need some deciphering. Dinner out likely means a 12-course tasting menu served personally by the chef who has meticulous made sure there was no asparagus anywhere because you don't like them. Clothes shopping, it could mean your personal shopper who has toured the top couture houses, picking out the latest garments in colours that complement your skin tone and in your exact size. Gift shopping, ha! Your personal assistant or PA is on it and it will be spot on. If not, they will coordinate with the recipient's PA to straighten it out. ASAP. Art, $500 million plus. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but valuable art tends to hold up its price quite well. I mean, you could buy so much art, some to display in your mansion and others to curate. That's a fancy rich people term for putting in storage with the other overpriced pieces. Billionaires hold 0.5 to 10% of their wealth in valuable art pieces. Francois Pinot is worth 10 billion and holds 1 billion in his art collection. As wealth is often notional, like numbers you see on a screen, it is rare to be able to touch 1 billion dollars, but only with permission, security clearance and white cotton gloves, I'm sure. Number 10. Investments, 600 million dollars plus. The goal of having money is to make more. Money that doesn't make money is a loss and billionaires are wise to this. They invest intelligently and generate more money through investments. Because of inflation, the value of money is worth less today than last year. Because of interest, money needs to generate more money to retain its value. Sorry for the basic economics lesson, I, I get carried away. So while billionaires have money for spending on fun things like homes, vehicles and lavish lifestyles, the big part of their wealth is invested. You and I could be smart too and invest most of our money, but there are little things like rent, car payments and groceries. See the dilemma here? Only the people who have tons of money can afford to be rich. The charities, 500 million plus. This is awesome news for us peasants. 200 of the world's wealthiest families around the world have joined the Giving Pledge. These super rich people like the Gates and Buffets have pledged to give away 99% of their wealth during their lifetime or in their will. The money will be overseen by experts to leverage that money to address some of the world's biggest challenges around the globe. We talked about sports teams and buildings, but maybe the best legacy is money used to benefit future generations, even if there is direct mention of the original benefactor. 
To understand how different billionaires are than you or me, let's have a look at Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon. When we spend $1, that would be like Jeff spending $88,000. When we complain about $7 movie popcorn, Jeff would only complain about a $616 purchase. For example, when you save up to $5,000 for that special once-in-a-lifetime trip to Thailand, it would cost Jeff less than six cents based on his wealth. Being a billionaire isn't all fun in games. Keeping track of all those zeros can be exhausting. If any billionaires are listening and need a break, I'm offering a swap. Imagine only having four or five zeros to manage. What a refreshing change for you. You never need to learn the name of all six of your PAs again, and you can be assured that that man smiled at you because he's friendly, not because your chauffeur is holding open the door of your Bentley. Best part, you can cancel your kidnapper's insurance and save a few bucks. Okay, I'll give you some time to mull it over. Your PA has my number if you change your mind.